Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tutorials, and in this video, we're going to show you how you can have basic two way data binding in your Polymer elements. So, this is going to be like the Angular 101 example where you've seen where you can type in a text input and that input is output directly onto the screen as you're typing it. However, we're going to do it all within your custom element. So, check it out. Let's get going on that right now. Cool, so in the last video we learned how to use properties. Now what we're gonna learn about is basic data binding. Now we saw in the last video we were in our hello world, we were using some properties, we used some compute properties, some computed properties, and we have uh, output the full name inside of curly brackets here. Now you may have been wondering about the curly brackets because we have those being used uh, inside of our template here. What exactly does that mean? So really what the curly brackets mean is it creates automatic bindings where the data flow is one way or two way depending on whether or not the target property is configured for two way binding. Now if we wanted just strictly one way binding uh, we could use the square brackets themselves. So from so for one way binding uh, the data is essentially downward from the host to the child and the binding never modifies the host. So basically if we were to have in this instance just be using these square brackets here we could come back like so full name let's come and refresh and you'll see we get Scott Talinsky so the square brackets are working because we're not expecting this uh, back and forth data binding to happen we're essentially taking in properties and we're just outputting them so now in this video we're going to show you how you can do sort of the you know the very most basic two-way data binding example that you sort of get on the angular 101 sort of video or the angular 101 sort of example so one way we can do this is by first creating an input right so this example is going to show you uh, where you can just have a text input and that input is going to be output dynamically as you type in a property so so we can do input type text and now we're going to have the value equal to something very specific. Now it's going to have double quotes and double curly brackets here. Now we can give this a property name. So let's just type, uh, we'll type the property name is just input value which is I mean it's kind of a stupid name here we'll, we'll change it in a second then we're going to do two colons and then we're going to follow that with the event that we're looking for and this particular event is on an input so we're looking for the input event now other events might be if a checkbox is changed we would have change here if a uh, video maybe is having a time change it could be time update. So now that we have this input, we can actually use this input value. And remember we have our, our two-way data binding tag, which is the curly breaks is uh, curly brackets. We can have those right here and put input value here. Come to our page and refresh. We'll now have this input box. And as we type, you can see the sort of you type it shows up and this is we have basic two-way data binding going on inside of our element and it's nothing fancy we just have this input and input out text but let's say we wanted to have this value overwrite the uh, uh, let's say it's going to overwrite the first name so we still want to output the full name here but let's actually change this to double curly brackets and it's like so and the input value is no longer going to be input value, but it's going to be first name. And likewise, since we're not using input value anymore, I'll just change it down here just so it's outputting it twice. Now let's come to our application. We can refresh and you'll see by default, this value is showing up as Scott all three places. Now when we change this, not only is it changing where we're having the two-way data bound down here in the H2, we're also, it's also changing in our computed value as well. So as we um, modify this, okay, we, you can now see that uh, this data binding computing value updates as well. Cool, so that's the very most basic two-way 
data binding. Now, I'm sort of just breezing over some of these topics here. We're going to get into a lot of this stuff in much more detail. I just want you to sort of know uh, what you're seeing when you're seeing it. So that way, when we get into some cool stuff, uh, you know exactly what's going on. So check it out. Try out some of your data binding. Head over to the polymerproject.org. Check out the data binding page there and just start reading over that stuff. Um, sometimes, you know, documentation can get a little dry. So I will be covering everything in there. So, uh, if, but if you absolutely can't wait, head over there and dive into the specifics yourself. That's always a great way to pick up new skills. So as always, this is Scott with Level Up Tutorials. If you have any questions or comments, leave a comment in the video or hit us up at Twitter or Facebook at Level Up Tutorials. We love to hear from you. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Bye. If you like this video, please check out some of the other Level Up Tutorials videos. We have lots of exciting playlists from Meteor to Angular to Polymer 1.0 and even some web design stuff using Sketch App. There's new videos every week and check out the video descriptions for awesome ways that you can help support this channel in creating free tutorials.